Tonight, two young women are recovering after a vicious attack by a pack of pit bulls. It occurred not in the inner city, but in the rolling farmland of Carroll County. One of the women is home tonight, the other still recovering in the hospital. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyck found the dogs have scared people and caused trouble before. And we want to warn you, some of the images you're about to see are graphic. Two girls' cousins were finishing up a jog through the country. They were nearly home when they were attacked by four pit bulls. They tried to reach the safety of their house. Before they could get there, the dogs were on them. It's just like a, a scene out of a horror movie. I mean, when I saw them and they were covered in blood and just all mauled, and it was terrible. Shenna and Derek George's daughter, Isabella, was bitten from head to toe. I'm just thankful she's alive. I mean, puncture wounds all over. I mean, all over her body. With severe bruises and deep puncture wounds, Isabella's older cousin, Rebecca Forgey, was critically injured as the dogs tore into both the girl's flesh and muscle. Rebecca has 75% of her scalp removed that she will not be able to grow hair back. Shenna believes the girls fought the dogs for nearly half an hour. Even their owner, she says, couldn't pull them off. A woman driving down the lightly traveled road stopped and got all three into her truck, possibly saving the girls' lives. Do you believe these girls were nearly killed? Yes. In fact, I didn't know if Rebecca would make it. Yes. Sheriff Toby Leesenby calls it worse than any dog attack he's seen. Maybe a feeding frenzy. A feeding frenzy? Yeah. Leesenby told deputies to find the dogs and shoot them on sight. They did. Deputies have been to the owner's house before, writing summonses to Richard Darter when the dogs caused less serious trouble. Couldn't something more severe been done? Within the, the limit of the law, my understanding is, is no. You need to uh, face the consequences of your actions or things that um, you're responsible for. As both young women face a long, painful, and emotional recovery, the sheriff is gathering evidence he hopes will result in criminal charges. More than justice, for now, the Georges are more concerned about the medical care and recovery of these two young women. In Carroll County, Rich Van Wyck, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.